The next special test that we're going to be doing are for the iliotibial band syndrome or IT band syndrome. Uh, the first one we're going to do is uh, is the Rene test. For this, but we're going to ask the patient to uh, stand. The athletic trainer can stand uh, in front or lateral, uh, placing the uh, thumb. Go ahead and raise your, raise your shirts a little bit. Uh, thumb over the <clears throat> lateral epicondyle of the uh, injured knee. And then we're going to instruct the patient to support the body weight on the involved foot and actively flex the knee or squat. Uh, the athletic trainer maintains pressure over the thumb on the la uh, lateral epicondyle. Okay. Usually, uh, in the, a positive sign is indicates uh, pain under the thumb when they are flexed at about 30 degrees of knee flexion, indicating the IT band friction syndrome. That's it. The next special test that we're going to be doing for the iliotibial band syndrome or IT band syndrome is going to be the um, Noble's compression test. For this one, the patient is going to be in a supine position. So with their legs initially um, extended, the athletic trainer is going to be to the side of them. Uh, first thing that we're going to do with one hand is we're going to place the thumb of the, the top hand uh, over the lateral epicondyle uh, on the lateral side of uh, the knee, above the knee. And the other hand is going to be uh, over the foot <clears throat> or distal leg. And what we're going to be doing as um, uh, the uh, we're going to apply gentle pressure over the lateral femoral condyle with our thumb and with our top hand, and then we're going to uh, passively uh, flex and extend the knee. Again, maintaining that pressure, and then what we're looking at is about here at about 30 degrees of uh, knee flexion we would have uh, pain uh, over the thumb and that would indicate a positive um, uh, tightness for the IT band syndrome uh, or tight muscle. The next special test that we're going to do for IT band syndrome is called the Ober's test. For this one the patient is going to be uh, on a sideline position uh, with the affected uh, uh, leg limb that you're testing is going to be on top the athletic trainer is going to uh, stand be behind behind them or lateral and uh, one hand is going to be uh, stabilizing the pelvis uh, the other hand is going to uh, grasp the, the femur uh, just above or uh, just below the, the knee and then what we're going to do is we are going to abduct the femur uh, and extend the hip uh, backwards uh, this allows the tensor fascia lata to clear the greater trochanter and then we're going to passively adduct the, the leg or hip towards the table uh, with the knee uh, kept straight. Uh, normally uh, the femur will adduct past horizontal. Okay, If the femur adducts uh, too parallel to this position then that would indicate that uh, the, and the kneecap straight, uh, that they have a minimal uh, tightness for the IT band. If the leg, leg is unab unable to get too parallel, uh, then they have a maximum tightness of the IT band. 